that's who I was then. Then I went to high school and I became, I became someone that was influenced by, by the neighborhood, by the high school, by, by the influences of, of music and by the influences of music and uh, and women and then uh, and then I, 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 I've made many mistakes and I've learned from them and now I've found I found the truth I know the truth I know exactly what is really going on in this world. And once I found out what is the truth, I made the adjustments necessary to become who I am now. Only and truth does matter, doesn't it? Yeah, without truth, you're lost. You are in a, in a, in a circulation. You're in a, in, a, in a constant circulation. You're institutionalized in a, in a way that you have no clarity on the real world, on what really matters, which is having your word, being righteous, and standing for something greater than yourself, like helping others, and, and, and trying to prove yourself to God, to the creator of all. So once I found out that, that the creator God exists, I made the conscious decision to walk the path I am in now. And I try to do so much good. I don't, I don't, weigh the good with the bad anymore. That doesn't exist. Where are you headed now, David? Well, right now, the Creator, God, He's placed me in many, many journeys. He's placed me in in journeys and, and, and these journeys have led me to, to make kindness contagious, you know, not to act as if, but to actually be my best version, you know. I'm trying to adapt to the new consciousness that, that, I, that I've, I've come to, to, to verify. I've come to, to realizing that there is such a thing as as God and there is such a thing as as a, as a higher power that that orchestrates this higher power orchestrates who you are and what you're going to be and your purpose if you if you Put yourself intact with 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 that intuition and the gut feelings. Then you then you can find purpose and you can find righteousness in, in everything that you do. You can find a positive a positive lifestyle. When did you begin your journey? This time. Uh, this time I began my journey March 13, 2022. And how many miles on an average do you try and walk per day? Before this went viral, I was walking 30 miles on average. That was a month ago. So that was from March 13 to May. Till May 2nd, around that week, 
I was making 30 miles a day. Average. And now that the people have found out that David is walking to Miami, the miles have been cut short, right? Yes, sir. <laughs> yes. How do you feel about that? Well, the situation is that as long as it's a positive thing, the, the kickback that I get from, from the individuals that are being uh, affected, they, they're being affected by my journey, it's all in a positive way. And I have no other choice but to embrace what the Creator is doing with this journey of mine. Uh, I have no other choice but to condone uh, and uh, accommodate what God has has in, has has placed in front of me. So it makes me feel it makes me feel overwhelmed and, and humbled that so many are finding strength in my battles in my battles of of this journey. This What's is, the worst thing that have happened to you during this journey, David? The worst thing that has happened to me in this journey is is the weather, is the conditions, is the sleeping in 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 on the floor and and the weather. That's really and and the mental and the mental state that that creeps in when that happens. You know the. The wanting to complain, the wanting to complain because things might not seem to go your way, or how you, or how you, uh, how you believe that it should. And what's the best thing that has happened to you, David? The best thing that has happened on to me on this journey. On this journey is that I see how my journey has affected everyone. My journey has affected people that never believed and people that were ready to give up. It has affected people that have lost individuals. It has affected children. It has affected individuals that were ready to retaliate for, for instance that, that have just taken place. I seen how I have changed or help modify the way people were having a, a, a look at this life. David, you have very high standards. You're not accepting anything from anybody other than love. What triggered that Method. Well, from the very beginning, when I first when I first went uh, around the United States of America, there were many individuals that wanted to contribute to my journey, and uh, at that time, I I was receiving uh, I was receiving about fifty dollars a week from my family to to conquer, conquer this mission of, of walking around the United States of America. So I never had, a, I never had the, the means to, to accept anything from anyone because I had, I had my own money. And, and it was more of a habit to not accept anything from, everyone, from anyone. Now on this journey here, uh, I felt like God the Creator has has elevated, has increased the, the demands on my faith, you know, and uh, I succeeded the first time. I, I completed around the United States. This time, I'm doing it with absolutely no help, no help from my family, no help from, the, from my surroundings, no help from any individual. It's because he wants to test, he wants to test my obedience. I believe he wants to test my discipline and, and to see if I truly do believe, if I truly do believe that he will supply my every needs. That's kind of like Job, right? 
Yes, I, I guess. I just hope that negativity, he who is called the devil, I hope that he really doesn't have much to do with my life. But it's sadly the truth of the matter. I believe that the devil is the one that that makes the hurdles and the obstacles so you won't get to that purpose of yours, that purpose that God has given you. But yeah, I feel like it's, it's something along those lines and, and I will never give up and I will never surrender. And no matter the obstacle, I will strive and I will triumph. I will do everything I can as long as I have God by my side. I really, really am a true believer that no weapon formed against me shall prosper. What is your family's attitude, David, about this mission? This mission, unlike the other mission, was extremely supported because it was uh, something that they didn't believe I could accomplish. But then once I, I made the move and I dedicated myself, they were all very delighted that I was, uh, I was actually covering so much land in the time that I was doing so. They were very, very supportive. Now, they were extremely scared, obviously, because I was walking through deserts, I was walking through mountains, I was walking through undesirable places, and sleeping in the most... Uh, in the most detrimental environments. So uh, they, they were constantly scared and worried and always thinking something was gonna go wrong. So the second time after I did complete the journey, they weren't too excited about me taking this journey again, you know, and I totally understand. They went through a lot of nerve wrecking you know, they're especially my mother and my sisters, you know? And, um, and now they, they were not delighted when I said I have to go back on my journey because they were afraid. They were afraid that something was going to happen to me and that they would have to deal with the, the nervous breakdowns when, when I... Uh, when I call and say I'm in certain places and sleeping in certain in certain alleys and certain uh, in certain uh, cities and states. And David, how do you deal with your own fears? No. How do you manage your fear? Well, it's, uh, like I told you before, I really believe no weapon formed against me shall prosper because the Creator, God, He has confirmed more than 10 times, more than 20 times, He has confirmed that He is with me. So before, I would actually doubt such a thing when I would have to sleep like in deserts or in sewer pipes or in the mountains of, of North Dakota, in the, in, the, in the canyons of Oregon and Washington. And now, since I overcame all of those fears, and I slept in the high grass of the reservations, the Indian reservations in Wisconsin. And, and I walked through Compton and Los Angeles and I have slept in the corners of Michigan and Detroit. And I, I see that the Creator, he has, he has His hands wrapped around me. And with time, everything confirmed it strengthens your faith, you know? It does, it really does strengthen your faith. I don't really doubt, I don't doubt the Creator, I don't doubt God has me covered in His, in His magical cloak. What do you say and what do you think about the way that the Macon County Sheriff came to your side? and took an interest in your mission? Well, when, when I first heard that Sheriff Brunson wanted to accommodate my journey, 
I, uh, I spoke to uh, Morgan, Deputy Morgan, and I explained to him that I would not be able to accept the showers and all the accommodations from the food to the shelter because it would change my journey. I never in, in my wildest dreams would have imagined that the sheriff was actually going to take this this journey with me and walk all the miles that he has he's walked more than 30 miles he's walked many many miles he's walked about 20 to 25 miles so far and and it's very overwhelming because everybody walks in everybody's walking a different path in life and the path that he's in is extremely influential to many, not only the law enforcement, not only the youth, but to the politicians and, and to the lawmakers and, and to everybody that's in power. His, his stature is, is noticeable and, and very well respected. So it has given me a lot more strength and drive to continue because I know there's people that have the same ambition and the same interest in this world as I do. Did you have any such experiences between Pennsylvania and Alabama? No. No, everybody has been very, very, very courteous. Uh, when, when I was in my walks, when I was walking from Pennsylvania to Georgia, the law enforcement that would that would that would ID who I was always treated me with the highest most respect and and honestly no one knew who I was at the moment so it was like I was skating through all the states that I was in there wasn't there wasn't a commotion once I got to Augustus Georgia that's when this went viral and the attention it skyrocketed and things became a little more vivid. And David, you're walking in the name of love. What is love? Wow, love, love is something that you see is like an electricity, a course of electricity that, that the, the, the people the people say they feel your vibes. They feel the, they feel the energy. You know that type of love. When I see that, and they tell me they are, they get goosebumps, and and that they feel the Holy Ghost when they come around me, and all these things. Once I hear all of that, it, it takes me to a different level, and I say God is working around me. It's not me. It's God. God is affecting everyone that comes around me so they could understand that my purpose is solely to, to, to inspire, to bring love and unity. So once they tell me it's not once, it's not twice, it's not 20 times, it's multiple times the people, they say that when they get around me, they feel a certain way. That confirms to me that God is working around me so everybody could join me on my journey like he has unraveled he has allowed this to go viral for a reason and he knows that I won't give up if I go around the United States he knows that because he already put me to the test and I passed so I believe that he wants everybody to join me so there could be love and unity I believe that he wants everybody to join me so when I go around all the states we all have a common denominator which is the grace of God, which is this journey he has placed in front of me. And then he give, he's given me a vision. He's given me a message, a vision. He's given me something that I, I, will, I will share with the world as soon as I'm done. As soon as I'm done with this journey, he has given me the, the proper information to, to allow you to understand and allow you to confirm that he, yes, indeed, has put me on this path to help you, them, oh. and everyone else okay. that's in need. Hold on just a minute. He's here now. And my brother, on. I am extremely proud of Walking you. Walking with David Cruz here. here. Man, he's doing it for the right reason. And uh, we just having a great time walking, great time with conversation. 
You know, uh, he's definitely doing it for the right reason. We talk about peace and unity in the Lord. He's yeah. walking for the Lord, walking on a peace walk, and uh, just trying to spread love and walking to connect every state he walks through. Uh, we're talking about the Lord. We're talking about peace. We're talking about love. And we're talking about what he's trying to do. He ain't doing it for no publicity. He ain't doing it for no money. He ain't doing it for no food. He won't take no food. He won't take no water. He won't take a helping hand for nobody because he's doing it for the Lord. And of course, when I caught up with him, of course I tried to feed him. Of course I tried to give him water. He don't want that. He just want love, want to show us love. And that's what he wants to do. And he's going to walk all the way to Miami, Florida. And we blessed to have him coming through Macon County and Tuskegee, Alabama. And uh, yeah. you wouldn't believe the amount of people that stopped, cried with him, talked to him, take uh, pictures, you know, and uh, amazing. that's amazing. And uh, we're gonna, and look at here, he got me out of uniform now. Boy, it's hot out here, I done came out with vests. And y'all gotta forgive me, because I know y'all ain't never seen me out of uniform, but hey, it is hot out here. And uh, Whoa, David calculating about three miles an hour a day. And uh, Dave, this is the mayor. This is the mayor. Say hey to the mayor. Hey, mayor, how you doing? I appreciate your call. I appreciate your concerns. Yes, sir. Dave, we appreciate you. I appreciate your concern, your effort, and your prayers, and your, your good spirit out there in the city of Miami. Yes, sir. And uh, we're going to be praying for you and your family. And we're going to send prayers up for what you're doing and for all of us. That's what it takes. And you're sending a message that we can't ignore. And you're doing it in spirit and in truth. And visible, uh, transparency and visibility. So we really appreciate that. Okay. Thank you. Well, that sounds good, Mayor. I appreciate that. I know he appreciates the That's word. Good. We walk and we're going to try to make it to the square. And uh, okay. maybe he can take a break there. And we know, yes, of sir. course, he would be safe there. Yes, sir. Uh, so we're going to try to make it to the square. Okay. Okay. All right, well, y'all take it easy, Sheriff. And uh, y'all be careful the heat and day. Be blessed, man. And thank you. I All right. appreciate you. Thank you. All right. Take care. All right. Alabama. How y'all doing? Great Faith Walk with David Cruz. Yeah. Man, I'm still like a hog, man. 
Man, you should have seen what I had on pants on, little chief. Yeah. Boy, it was hot. And you know, at 3 o'clock today, 2 o'clock when we met him, it was really hot. Here we go. One more time. Good. Got it. They want a picture there, Sheriff. Okay, come on, baby. Say, how you doing? Y'all doing okay? All right. We'll give him a hug, take a picture, all that. Come on, baby. 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 Go under the overpass and come up by the bridge. You know, come on the side, by the boat. Yeah. Okay. Thank you ladies. Take care. All right. We actually stopped because some young ladies wanted to stop and give David a hug and take a picture with him. And definitely he wants to do that. You know, like I say, he's promoting love, togetherness. And uh, he will talk to anybody and everybody that wants to say hey to him, holler at him, and show some love. So we just stopped to do that. But uh, we're getting ready to get on our way again. We got about, let's say, five miles to go before we get to the square. So we are probably be in the square right at about maybe 7 o'clock, 7.30 maybe. Uh, so we so we can get some rest, so he can rest a little while. So uh, we're gonna get back on this journey. I wanna say thank you to everybody that's uh, joined us here. Hey man, how y'all doing?
Just a second for the video. Hi. Got you. Oh, no, I'm yeah, I'm good. Okay. Looking at all that salt coming out of her. Oh, yeah. oh, you know, I feel, and I was telling about that, I've been sick for six so months. Wait, I feel so much better walking, getting sweat and all that stuff. Oh, yeah. All those impurities. All those impurities, yeah. And the sun is good for vitamin D. Great. Okay, Chief, you got some good duty today. What's going on? I did. I did. Uh, in reference to this young man that's walking, I am so proud of him. He's doing what Jesus did so many years ago. Almost, well, 2,000 years ago, probably. And I am so proud of him to assist the sheriff and David on his journey and to stop in the square. How did you find out that he was coming through? I got a, I received a phone call from the city manager in reference to a young man walking from Notasuga to the square. And the city manager advised that he's going to be staying in the square. So I, I said, let me go and see what's going on. So I went down here and I went down to Notasuga. You got right on up in the mix. I did, I did, <laughs> I did, and I was happy, happy to help. All right, well, I'm glad to see you out here taking care of him. And I understand from him that no other law enforcement agency have taken care of him like this. Exactly. And now, he, now he's got two. Yes, yes. I've heard that no one gave him an escort. And I'm so happy it was Macon County and Tuskegee. All right. To assist him. All right. Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome. Thank you. I was at home. I prepared a game. And then I heard some outside, so I looked outside. And I see a bunch of police cars, and I came outside to see what was going on. And I saw the man, David Cruz, and I ran back and hopped my shoes on. I just started walking with him to the journey. So I'm going to keep going to the square, then head back home. All right, then. Well, I'm proud of you, man. Yes, sir. All right. Come on, Mr. Deputy, and tell me what you're doing. I know what you're doing. You're keeping them safe, huh? Yes, sir. Uh, a lot of them, I, I uh, make made contact with Mr. Cruz up in North. I was passing through and I just I just saw a lot of people out there and I just wanted to um, check on their their safety and and it was sure enough David Cruz he was walking to Macon County so um, I got on the phone called the sheriff and let him know the sheriff did everything he could and got him an escort and and now we're here at Popeyes and we're on the way to the square and we just it's just a just eye open you know it's Walk by faith, and I got a, I got a little, enough of it now. You know. Well, all so right. I'm thankful. Well, I'm proud of you, man. Thank you. Here goes the steel. Put him in this great Tuskegee Airmen's atmosphere. Tuskegee Airmen. Molden Field. One more time to make it right. Molden Field, baby. There you go. 
Thank you. Yeah. He's been walking from Nota Salva. Hey, brother. So, man, we've been walking all day. I see. And uh, we're going to go in here to the radio station and uh, say a few words, get some questions for David. Man of God, man of great spirit who has definitely, definitely touched me today. And man, you can see he's touched a lot of people in Macon County today. And uh, he's touched people all over where he's walked, man. So it's, it has been definitely a great day. And definitely a great day. Can we get uh, Reverend Love to do a quick prayer for yes, us? Come on. Hey, how you doing? Father, in the name of Jesus, we give you thanks. We thank you for David, Lord. Let him be like your son, David, a warrior, Father God. We just give Catch you. Oh, yes, we can do that. We just give you thanks, Father, in the name of Jesus, yes. that you just allow your shield of protection to be around him, God. Allow your favor to surround him as a yes. shield, God. We just lift you up, oh God, in the name of Jesus, that you will release angels from heaven to yes. encamp around and about to protect him, God. You know exactly his purpose and his assignment, Father God, and we thank you that whatever he needs, God, is already provided. We tap into the kingdom of heaven, God, and we ask you, Father, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, that you pour out blessings upon blessing, God. Put your anointing on his feet that he not get tired, God, even as you allowed Elijah to go for 40 days, Father God. We thank you for your divine protection, oh God. We ask you, Father God, to give him a spirit of discernment that is so great that he can discern anything, any danger, oh God. And then we thank you for the Holy Spirit who will lead and guide him to his final destination, God. And we just give you love and honor and glory, God. May God, his walk, God, be so uh, evident of you, Father God, that anyone that come in contact with, may you uh, allow people to experience your glory and your love. There's too much violence in this earth. Now, God, may he walk and talk with you. And then, God, at his final destination, may America see what he has done. And, God, may you get the glory out of it in the name of Jesus. And he will know that there is a God in Israel, in, in America. We need to return to you, Father God, so we thank you for your protection. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, that was powerful. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. WBZ, y'all. It's the best station in the nation. We got it right here at our location. Man, 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 man. We got a very, 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 very special guest in the building. I want you guys to stand up and give him a big warm welcome. Let's go, y'all. Good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon, man. I'm talking about we got the chef in the building, we got the chief in the building, we got the pastor in the building, we got another chief in the building, we got CBTV in the building, we got a young man in the building. Listen, man, we got a very, very, <laughs> a very exclusive program we're going to have for our community all right this time. Now, who's going to be the first to speak? Hey, 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 well, I'm going to tell you what you know. You know the sheriff got to be the first one to speak. You know the sheriff got to be the first one to speak. Okay. You know I got to say, hey, I miss y'all. You know, I've uh, been sick all this time. I know, and I appreciate all the prayers. Mm -hmm. Appreciate all, everything that you have done for me. I'm still sick. Yes, but man, today I feel like a new man. Oh, my God. I feel like a new man. I wasn't supposed to be doing the radio show tonight, right. but God has mysterious ways. To make things happen exactly and right. it has definitely been a blessed day for me you know uh i got out today and i want to introduce this young man david cruz who mm -hmm. has definitely touched my life today you know uh in many many ways mm -hmm. and he definitely made it possible that i'm here tonight okay. so if you don't know who david cruz is i'm gonna let him introduce himself and then i'm gonna talk again and tell you about some extraordinary things that he has done Okay. in his life okay. and what he's doing today and what he's doing in his life 
right now to make it better and try to make it better for people in, in this community, not only in this community, but in this world. world. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? And he has had an amazing journey. Okay. But I also got to give thanks to Chief Jordan here, mm -hmm. who uh, came out and escorted us today. A long day for her because, long day. man, we've been going for a long time. Right. And then uh, Mr. Creighton over there, young man, saw us walking through Nova Suga. Wow. So he joined the walk all the way from Nova Suga. Wow. And then Jeff, Courtney, Courtney joined us about 5.30 today when she got off work. So okay. you definitely got, you know she's going to be there. Oh, yes, sir. Somebody brought her down and she joined us about 5.30. Okay. And then our pastor here who just joined us and had a great, great prayer for us. And uh, Chief Frazier over love. there. Love. That's what that is. Yes. And Chief <laughs> Frazier over there who joined us Frazier. early today and started filming. Okay. But uh, the man of the hour is David Cruz, has walked, who has walked all the way from Pennsylvania. Hmm. Wow. And he's walking all the way to Miami, Florida. Miami, Florida. Yes. Can you imagine that? He wow. started his journey on March the 13th with this walk. Wow. And he has been walking every day since. Wow. And the amazing thing is he's walking for God. Walking for yes. God. He's walking for love. for love. He's walking for unity. Unity. He's walking for all the great things that the world should stand for. Absolutely. And guess what? He won't take anything from anybody. Wow. So you can't say he's doing it for publicity. That's right. You can't say he's doing it for money. money. You can't say he's doing it for anything else but for the Lord, for the Lord. and to help people. And he's doing it with his heart. His heart. Wow. And my thing was, when I found out David was walking today, one of my officers called me who was out of uniform. Mm -hmm. And I said, no, that's not him. Right. You know, he's he going to be walking here. Why would he be here? Right. So I didn't tell anybody because I just, you know. So I told my guy to put on his uniform and go and make sure that's who it is and right. what he's doing. Right. And if it is him, tell him I want to help. Right. Tell him I want to feed him. I want to give him water, a place to shower, a place to rest. But guess what? He wouldn't take any of it. Wouldn't take any of it. Wow. And uh, man, that was just amazing. And I told them to tell him I'm on my way. Okay. And I got down there and we talked. Mm -hmm. And we talked. And then my officer started calling other people for help because we were just starting to walk alone. Right, right. So uh, word started getting around and people were seeing him on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Man, you should have seen the people stopping, talking, hugging, wow. crying. Wow. You know, and uh, man, it just touched me. Right. You know, it really touched me. And so we I've been walking with him since on the other side of the summer. Wow. And man, for me being sick, right. I done walked fifteen miles today. Yeah. A boy. A more, you know, and, uh, yeah, yeah, we we've been walking. That's a nice And it's been a good pleasure mm -hmm. to talk to this young man and, and feel his spirit mm -hmm. and the greatness that he has. Right, right. So I'm gonna let David talk and if you got any questions, please ask David some questions about what he's doing and he can tell you what and why and what his heart feels. Wow. Okay, okay Dave, uh, introduce yourself to the people, man, and tell them why you're doing what you're doing. Yes, yes, my name is David Cruz. I'm a 40-year-old man from New York City. I was, uh, I Speak was up, in my David. grandmother's house. I was in my grandmother's house in uh, Stroudsburg, Pennsylvania, when I got the call and to start walking again. Uh, this is the third time I go cross country. So it's, it's become a habit already. Uh, I take I take time off in between hikes, okay. and uh, I don't take any rides. Mm -hmm. I, I walk uh, I walk or I took a bike ride once, and I walked around the United States from 20 in November 11, 2020, to January 2nd, 2022, mm. and on March wow. 13, 2022. Uh, daylight savings. I started walking this journey, and and I'm here now with these incredible human beings. I've never felt so much love in my life wow. as I did today, and and I am humbled. I am extremely grateful. Wow, that's, that's powerful, that man. That's powerful. You went all over the world, and you get here to Lincoln County, and you haven't felt that kind of love ever. Oh, wow. Wow. That shot me right there. Oh, oh. Oh. Yeah, man. Oh. Man, oh. 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 And uh, he's a God-fearing young man trying to do something 
for the people. Right. Trying to do something for the people. He ain't stealing nothing. He ain't trying to harm nobody. And like I say again, he won't even take nothing from you. Not oh. even a ball of water. Oh. And can you imagine how many people tried to give him stuff only today? Today. From clothing to food to water to bananas. We just had somebody go to the grocery store and bring back food. Oh, we had somebody try to give him soap. Somebody tried to give him clothing. Right. Somebody tried to get everything. Wow. From each restaurant we stopped to, hey, come on in and eat. No, he won't nothing. He says the Lord will provide. And he's not taking anything from anybody. And that is amazing. amazing. He don't want nothing. So he's not doing this for no money. He ain't doing this for no publicity. The Lord has touched this young man. Yeah. Tell yes, you, yes. You have brought a big blessing to this county, man. Brought a right. big blessing to, to this, this county, this right county and this community. Because look at him. We needed this. He could have went anywhere. Anywhere. What led him this direction? God. God led, God led him, him here. Yes, sir. yes, sir. And I got to tell people, look, when he leave here, he going toward Montgomery, then he going to come back toward Dothan. I'm going to make my calls. Mm -hmm. Hey, make sure, Chief Montgomery, make sure this young man is safe when he come through there. Right. You know, make sure... He is safe. Mm -hmm. My sheriff in Montgomery, make sure he is safe. Right, right. Make sure this young man comes through there with your blessing. Right. Make sure he does. Oh, and then we can talk about Dothan. Please, mm -hmm. Dothan, make sure he comes through there with your blessings. He ain't trying to hurt or harm nobody. Well, y'all see him wave at him. Stop and give him a hug. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. all he wants. That's all he wants. Derry Cunningham, he coming through Montgomery tomorrow. Derry right. Cunningham, he coming through Montgomery tomorrow. Make sure this young man is safe. Y'all watch out for him. Right. Give him a hug. Right. Speak to him. That's right. Show the blessings. Show the love and keep him safe. Right. He ain't trying to harm nobody. He walking for God. Right. He walking for God. I am so thankful for David mm -hmm. because David is the whole. The Holy Spirit is within David. Yes. To bring him to Tuskegee. Because right. there's so much love out there. You just wouldn't believe it. Yeah. Like the sheriff said, mm -hmm. from the kids to the mm -hmm. parents, the the uh, the workers at Popeye's, everybody wow. showed him so much love yeah. Yeah. Uh, on his journey through Macon County. Yeah. So he is a blessing. He is a God sent blessing mm -hmm. to us. We, we might not see it right now, yeah. but it's coming. It's coming. It's yeah. coming. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And definitely uh, can't forget Black's Barbershop down there that really showed him a lot of love. You know, got to say and give a shout out to Black's Barbershop down there. You know, and I got to say again, all the people that passed by in blue, all the people that came out of their homes, I can't name everybody, but just holler. You know, even when we play at Turk's Place down yeah, there, right. all the people <laughs> Turks, yeah. Yeah, that came out and took wow. pictures and showed us some love. You know, wherever we've been, wherever everybody passed did the same thing. So, true blessing. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, Macon County is a great place. You know, when this just shows, you know, you got to be true to God and be true to the humanity mm -hmm. here. That's right. And we can do that. That's right. And we've been scribing. We say that every week that we had a radio show. Mm -hmm. You know, we want to make things better for everybody. That's right. Absolutely. Forget the hate. Mm -hmm. Forget the haters. Mm -hmm. That's right. Because you got them out there. That's right. But you got great people like this mm -hmm. that are uh, trying to bring everybody together. That's right. Bring unity. Bring unity. And that's what it's going to take for us to survive. That's what it's going to take for this world, world to survive. Absolutely. Too much turmoil. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's just too much turmoil. Right. So uh, we're not going to stay much longer. we got to get to the square. Thank God for my brother David here. Because you got to understand, when you think about David in the Bible, David was a warrior. Right. David was the one that was willing to take down the giant. Mm -hmm. All the other 20,000 soldiers were afraid. Mm -hmm. But David came on the scene and said, I tell you what, how dare you defile the name of my God? And we see God's name is being defiled in the United States mm -hmm. in all sorts of ways. Yeah, I'm Katrina Love. I am the president of the Macon County Ministerial Council. And I thank Chief for calling me. I was at church. Right. And he said, uh, well, you need to come out here. I said, well, Chief, I'm in church right now. I don't know how long it'll be. But he said, well, call me when you finish. I called Chief and Told me this is where we were. Got here and we prayed. And I thank God. And you can feel the anointing mm -hmm. on this young man. Mm -hmm. And I, mm -hmm. we know why he came to Tuskegee. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because Tuskegee name is great. Mm -hmm. And I tell us all the time, we got to learn to appreciate what we have. If God will order a man from Pennsylvania to walk to Tuskegee, right. could have gone anywhere. Anywhere. That's right. Anywhere. Chose Tuskegee. Gigi. That's right. You know we got to get together and bring the love of God. That's all we talk about. I pray. We 
Let's, like, let's pray Tuskegee. Mm -hmm. And I said, when Tuskegee prays, God goes to work. And look how God ordered this young man here. God told me that June was going to be a joyous month. God's getting ready to do something great. That's right, absolutely. In Tuskegee. And to bring you here, David, God divinely sent you here because he's getting ready to restore. Do you know the history of Tuskegee? You've heard of Black Wall Street. Yes, ma'am. Ma Black Wall Street came out of Tuskegee. A lot of people don't know that. In the 1800s, the students built this place took bricks, I mean dirt out of the ground and made bricks. That story is found in the Bible, in the Exodus. And everything that we see in Tuskegee, you can trace it in the Bible. And that's why I tell people, this is the promised land right here for black people. Yes. And until we learn to appreciate that, so you, I pray that God could get you safely to your destination because we need more prophets like you. As a matter of fact, I preached um, a message a couple of Sundays ago, I said, where are the prophets? And God sent you here. Yeah, because right. it's time for us in Tuskegee to move to another level. Yes, We've got is. to be on one accord. Yes, because you know. God is already, he's going to command blessing upon blessing when he finds the unity. And for you to walk, just for us to learn how to love again. Mm -hmm. May the Lord walk with you. May you be divinely protected. Whatever you desire, may God give it to you. Because he gives us desires of our heart. And for you to want to walk just to have the unity in America. I pray all the time. And then you talk about the love. I pray for God. Allow the love of God to be on me. That is so radiant that when people see me. They don't see me. They see Jesus. Mm -hmm. And whatever demonic spirit that they're under. God break that curse. Mm -hmm. That's what I pray. I don't want to be uh, uh, one that people say. Oh that preacher defiled God's name. I don't want to be like that. And I know you don't want to be like that David. You don't want to be like that. I can see your, your, you, you can see such purity on you, and I thank God for you. And whatever Tuskegee can do, you, it's done. It's done. Because we all gonna be on one accord, mm -hmm. and we all gonna be on the same page. It's gonna bring unity. It's gonna bring inspiration. It's gonna bring an anticipation right. to what the ending is going to unfold. Mm -hmm. And at that moment, I believe when I give you the message, when I give you the vision the creator God has given me, you all going to understand that there is no way I have the IQ or the capacity to come up with something so brilliant. That's what I want everybody to, to look forward to. The message that he given me to give to you, it's going to be astronomical. Wow. Yeah, we love you, brother. That's summing up right there. So, Bill Share for Port yeah, Tonight. We know the One Man Walker. How did you learn about it? My daughter called me and said he was coming to Tuskegee and I went to see it with the naked eye. <laughs> was she excited about it? Oh, yes. She All didn't right. care how high the gas was. She wanted us to come out. All right now. So, what's your name? Gloria Hopper. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Yes. The young lady that I invited to join the march down at the freeway. Uh huh. Uh, who had all the children. Right. She went home and called her mom and told her mama she had to come up here. Wow. In order to see this marching man. Oh man. Did tell him well, tell mean, him what you told me. It's definitely been yeah, unbelievable. Really, yeah, we're from Opelika. Came down. Y'all from see. you from Opelika? Yeah. Came all the way from Opelika to see David. Mm -hmm. How y'all doing? Yeah. So uh, definitely it's been a, a, a great journey today. <laughs> 
But you got to realize he done walked from Pennsylvania. He been walking since March the 13th. And uh, this is his other journey because he's walked 38 states before this. And he's going all the way to Miami. He's going all the way to Miami. And then uh, he's going to walk. After that, he plans on going to the other states. So definitely he's walking and he's walking for God. And that's the best thing to walk for. Religion and God and unity, what he's trying to promote. Unity and love. Definitely touched me today so much I done walked all the way from Nova Sugar today. <laughs> and I'm sick, but I ain't sick no more because, boy, I feel energized. I mean, I, it definitely helped me today. But uh, glad y'all came out, man. Been a long journey. And I know David want to say something, and he he take pictures, hug you, whatever you want, because that's what he trying to do, promote love and unity. And we had this young lady with us, uh, Chief, and this young man, and Courtney got with us about 5.30 today. But uh, we've been definitely walking. We And y'all see me, y'all don't never see me out of uniform, but I had to take that vest off, y'all. It was hot. <laughs> so uh, been a great day today. Great day today. Dave? Yes, um, I appreciate the support. I appreciate uh, the laughter and the unity. You know, it, it shows the people that it is possible to be, you know, like humanity, to make humanity coincide with each other, walks of all life come together. And at the end of the day, we all gonna be on one accord. We all gonna be on one page with this, uh, making this love, unity thing contagious. Amen. Gotta make love contagious. That's, that's the only way to prevail in, in, this, in this mission that he has. He's trying to make faith a trend, the creator, God. That's what he's trying to do. So I appreciate the sheriff, I appreciate the staff, his staff, his deputies, his chiefs. I appreciate Terrell, I appreciate Courtney, I appreciate all of you for coming out here and showing us love and support. I won't let you down. I'm gonna go to the bitter end. We're gonna go around the United States of America, try to get everybody on one accord on one page. That's my mission. Man, that's a big mission, man. You know, that's a that's a big thing, man. All we can do is admire what he's trying to do. And, uh, you know, to sit around and do nothing is one thing, but to get up and walk the United States, to walk all these states alone, man, that's got to be from God. Got to definitely be from God. And uh, another thing that hopefully everybody knows, he won't even take a bottle of water from anybody. We've had so many people try to give him something today, food, water, clothing. He won't take anything. He says he has to do this alone. So we got to respect that. And when I ran into him today, my whole thing was to keep him safe, get him something to eat and drink, get him a place to take a shower so he can get comfortable and rest and start on his journey again. But that's not what he wanted. So uh, I decided I was going to walk with him as long as I could. And it turned out to be an all day thing. And uh, definitely, he has done a lot for me today. I feel so much better after that walk. Uh, you know, and, and just talking to him and learning what he's thinking and giving him the history of Tuskegee and talking about the great people here in Macon County. We had a good time today. Yes, sir. We had a great time today. And uh, thank you, Mr. Creighton, that joined us. Thank you, Courtney, that joined us. Thank you, Chief. Yes, sir. Thank you, Morgan. Thank you, other Chief, and thank for all the people that is here. <laughs> Thanks to all the people that stopped to give him a hug, take a picture, and give him some words of encouragement because this is a hard journey. This, this is a, a hard journey. I couldn't even imagine it. And we probably did 15, 16 miles today. Mm -hmm. And uh, I can't, uh, man, that was a rough journey. What you think? What you think about him? He probably did 20 something today, mm -hmm. but usually about 30 every day, 30 to 35 every day. But not only today, that's every day. This man been walking since March the 13th. Could, wow, he, de could he define his mission for the people? Well, my mission is to, uh, my mission is to strive to, to bring you uh, some sort of, some sort of hope, some sort of faith, some sort of uh, inspiration. I'm doing this as a sacrifice. So I left comfortability behind. I left the shower, I left the, I left the baths, the shower, the, the kitchen, I left the clean clothes. 
I left everything behind in order to serve the Creator, accommodate the plan that He has, he has a, ahead of us. Amen. And um, eventually you, you'll be more grateful for the small things, like, like the salt and the pepper for the lettuce, for the salad, you know, and, and the soap and the shower. And, and hopefully you can conquer your hurdles and every obstacle that's placed in front of you. I'm going to try to strive as hard as possible to, to accommodate the, the, the wave that he's creating. He's creating a tsunami. It's been, it's been a lot of activity here in, from Georgia to Alabama. And if we could transfer that same energy across the United States of America, we're all going to be on one page. We're going to be on one accord. David, what's the best and worst thing that have happened to you on this journey so far? The best thing that has happened in this journey was today. Today it shows that there, there are people very, very familiar with kindness and very familiar with love and, and making a better place for the, for, for the youth and as, a, as an inspiration for others. There's people that have the same Plan, they have the same vision as I do, so it's, it's very overwhelming, it's humbling to see such especially so many people from different walks of life coming together to make this, this vision come true. And, and the worst thing that has happened to me is uh, walking through the weather, through the, through, the, through the showers, you know, walking, walking through rain and, and sleeping in unfamiliar places, which is something you overcome with time. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. 